Well, for the first time since 2014, Baltimore City recorded less than 300 homicides. But even with the drop, 263 people were killed in Baltimore, keeping the city among the most deadly in the country. WMER 2 News' Jeff Morgan live tonight outside City Hall as the city prepares to remember those lost to violence in 2023. Jeff, what was the feeling like today in City Hall? Mallory, Kelly, uh, this wasn't a celebratory feeling here, but they did acknowledge that getting under 300 homicides is a major step to reach the city's goal of reducing violent crime. Still, Baltimore remains one of the deadliest cities in America, especially over the last decade, and there's still work to be done. While this is meaningful progress, a disease of gun violence continues to plague our community, and none of us that you see here today are ready to celebrate. We are ready to push this work even further. Flanked by community leaders in the fight against violence, Mayor Brandon Scott highlighted the changes he believes led to the historic reduction in violent crime in Baltimore, touting strategies that focus on intervening before someone commits a violent act or stopping them from becoming repeat offenders like the gun violence reduction strategy. Not only is GVRS saving lives, keeping people safe, alive and free, it's directly playing a role in driving down overall violence. We engage the individuals we know are the most at risk of gun violence and offer them another way. The city faces a number of issues related to reducing gun violence. Money is tight across the state and these programs need funding to survive and be effective. We know this is going to be a tough fiscal year. Uh, we have seen Commissioner Worley and the team do with what they with the resources that they have and we know that everybody's going to have to be tightening their belts around here. BPD is also dealing with a staffing shortage, though the city is still working to run a cat and incentivize former officers to return. The mayor is focusing on the 2024 legislative session with priorities surrounding changes to ankle monitors and how juvenile crime is handled. Back here at City Hall, just across the road at a War Memorial Plaza, workers are setting up for a vigil of remembrance tonight. And during that uh, vigil of remembrance, they will honor all the people uh, who were lost during 2023. That happens tonight at 630. Live in downtown Baltimore, Jeff Morgan, WMAR 2 News.